So I'm doing this. I'm going live. But really what I want to do is record and post for later. And you know, live are the easiest way for post a long video. So I'm not doing it for interaction. Most of the people um I interact with would be at work or or you yeah, would be at work now. Um I don't know if you guys have noticed, but have you seen that Nigeria has blocked 73 million mobile phones because they're not um, linked to the digital ID system there? 73 million phones blocked because they're not linked to the digital ID system which would be the equivalent of our needs. The same thing that we rejected that Andrew brought back while we were busy cursing and calling people anti-vaxxers, while we were telling people that them stupid and them fit another the yard, they brought in needs and they slid it through without our consent. The same needs. That, that same ID system, Nigeria just blocked 73 million mobile phones because they're not linked the needs. Now, this is not misinformation. This is information. We know for read. Read more than people's status. And do more than simply come under people's status concourse. At this point, now, we just look ridiculous. Nigeria just blocked 73 million mobile phones for not being linked to the digital ID system that everywhere is slowly rolling out. Now, them roll out it. The needs, them, them, them approve the needs without we consent because we objected loudly. And while we were busy worrying about our well being and, 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 you know, Lord of mercy, me, me, me so tired, me tired. You remember when we, we talked about doing this, these critical thinking exercises? And I have been slow to start. We really need them, enough. We really, really need them. What, for what purpose is the linking of the mobile phone to the digital ID system? You can't tell me it's security. Because all of the security systems that we already have, all of the security systems that we, Dr. Cam, I'm going to delete you from my life, and I'm going to, block, you know what, let me just block you. Let me just go ahead and block you. I'm tired of you. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you keep coming back. But you comment on every fucking post. And I'm just sick and tired of you. Yes, our well-being. We were worried about our well-being. Because people are trying to force treatments on you that we don't want. Mm -hmm. So anyway. If there's any other idiot here to see a cell phone. I'm to block you. I'm allergic to idiot. I really had enough. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. So. Nigeria blocked 73 million mobile phones blocked for not having been linked to the digital ID system. And while we were here arguing about, by the way, let me tell you, that guy I just blocked, argue on behalf, on behalf of the, the injections every day. Every post somebody posts, me see him on the Fisparks post and my post and other people post. Every day I'm arguing on behalf of the job. Do you know that that guy actually admitted that he invested in one of the injections? He have monetary investment. So it is in his best interest that injections do well. So in a, in a, in a legal fitak at all, anybody who benefits from the financial gains from these things shouldn't be talking morally on them. Shouldn't be talking at all. So if you shut the fuck up, and that's why I'm running, man. Anybody else over there will feel like they want to follow him, go in peace. We don't have a patience for this no more. All right? There's never been a time, there's never been a time in our human recorded in history when we couldn't express an opinion and it wasn't later found to be an atrocity that shouldn't have happened. Every single time we block people from talking, every time we don't allow opposing views to contend, we've always gone back and decided that that was a grave atrocity and we shouldn't let it happen. Why are we doing it still? 
if me talk foolishness, allow me to talk foolishness and look stupid. Make me look stupid. That's my look. And prove me wrong with facts. But instead, we muscle, muscle, muscle. Why? Me can't ask on something. Why on a nasty things like the men in mainstream media? Why the media suddenly stop carrying these things? Yet you can hear someone rapper get arrested. You hear someone rapper get arrested uh, um, over in California. But you know here, say, down in Shanghai, them, are, them, are, them have people that treat like cattle. How much more beneficial is it to us to know that one rapper get arrested in their personal life? How does that have a bearing on any of us? How come you not see in the news, say, down in Nigeria, there's a lack of people, a black people phone because they don't take the digital ID, which is being introduced to us here. Isn't this something more relevant to us than that? How is it we're here? Who pregnant? Now listen, I love Rihanna. But do we really need, need to hear every single step where Rihanna take? We have to see every single baby picture, every, every single picture of the bump? How is it that we can't get even one single item of news? But what actually are going in other places? We don't hear what's going on in Australia. They don't tell us about what's going on in New Zealand. They don't tell us about what's going on over Shanghai. They don't tell us what's going on in Nigeria. But we do know Serena pregnant and we know now Sarah baby father get arrested when they go back to California. We don't watch news in them, but we know. And this comes from every media house on social media. Every single media house. We know this. We know all of the intimate minute details of people's personal life. But we don't know say one company out of California just settle for millions of dollars. Millions. Because they falsify the test results. They falsify the test results. Economic gain. We don't know. Because the media not tell with that. The media not tell with that. And when people like me post things, what we see from news sources, which are things which are credible, because it's a news item, this is something that actually happened. This it happened. No, 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 people tell you know, thing like fake news and misinformation without even thinking about it. If it happened, is it fake news? Is it misinformation? If it actually happened, how the fuck are you alone and say so stupid? No, how much have you managed to avoid extinction so long? How? You know how you managed to avoid extinction because you breed so fucking much? We have survived by sheer numbers. We have not survived by it. We have not believe it. We have survived because we keep breeding. That's it. I'm tired. All right. So, first it was the audio. The audio cut out after a while. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Ball IG. <laughs> so, the audio cut out, right? And here I am. Attempting to go live. Attempting to go live again. Right? I was talking about the phones which got blocked in Nigeria. But there are so many things happening. And I don't talk about this very often because I realize that you guys have settled into some kind of complacence that I don't like. With Regardless of what side of this you're on, most of you are very comfortable and complacent. You want either the system or those who oppose it to speak on your behalf. But that's some fuckery that you need to cut out. You need to start, start speaking for yourself. It is not enough 
that you come into my DMs and tell me that you agree with me. Don't fucking agree with me in my DM. I'm tired of it. Come out of my blood clot DM. Stop whisper in my ears. Say you're tired of it. If you're really tired of it, you'll oppose it. Stop expect people to become your hero. You don't have no hero. Yeah, what? You're one of the citizens of Townsville? That everyday pop of girls have to get up and save your sorry ass? Get up and save yourself. Start by thinking. Start by thinking. When I say there's something really, there's something really malevolent going on. You tell me I'm mad. You know, don't you know, tell me I'm mad? As if nothing mal malevolent could possibly be going on. Like as if nothing malevolent has ever gone on before. All right. Majority of the people actually engage me. A lot of the people who engage me honestly and talk to me up front instead of running back and me go talk shit back and me back because them, them, them a pussy. The people who engage me directly ask me, how could something of this magnitude be perpetuated against the entire global population? And I'm going to answer this once and for fucking all. Go look up a case in California where one health company got brought to court and actually settled for 26 million, I think, in total, along with a doctor who, who is claiming innocence but settled for some millions too. The health company actually admitted to falsifying the tests. They admitted. I see that all of the... When I looked it up, all of the headlines said alleged. It no fucking alleged. The key is closed. And they admit to the wrongdoing. So now I'm going to answer you. This one's. And hopefully we don't ever have to discuss this again. Because for future reference, you will fucking think. Somebody started a lie. Some... They, some people got paid to, to endorse the lie. Some other people realized that they could profit from the lie, so they also endorsed the fucking lie. And it kept going. It snowballed because that's how humans are. They're opportunistic criminals. This is why we come up with all the different terms to accommodate our own dishonesty. Eat a food. What eat a food mean? Eat a food encompasses stealing from your workplace. Overcharging your clients. Robbery of all the food usually means that you stole something. All who eat a food. Yeah, do something where you know send so legitimate. Either that, or you have bought into that system, and you are now enabling crooks. And we can see say video start lag again. <laughs> Ooh, child, listen. I no need to start think. Start think. <laughs> Boy, see, see that go again there? Eh? See that?